Good morning and welcome to my vlog. This is all going to be about my allotment and trying to show you guys on how to do things cheaply. This is the start. I've just started building a polytunnel. Um, I bought this polytunnel off eBay for about 85 quid. But it had no woodwork with it, it's just a frame. I've got a brand new top sheet for it and some brand new hotspot tape. So, I'll we'll take you for a little tour around. Now I've got loads to do. I've had this allotment for about two years. Got some good, good stuff out of it. As you can see, the woodwork. All this woodwork I got for free, but it wasn't treated, so it couldn't be exposed to the weather otherwise it would just warp so made the doors yesterday I'll have to take them off before I put the top sheet on but they're on there and I know where they are this is a fruit cage from my grapevine everything's just in a mess at the moment I've just got to get it all sorted strawberry beds There's one there and I've got another one there hopefully I'll be able to fill these up with soil once I get some more and stuff just one of the cages that I just chucked there this is um, my raspberry cage I got given some cuttings last year but they didn't come up on the thing so I'm going to let us see what happens this year and go from there if they, if they come in they come in, if they don't I have to just get some more see there's just junk everywhere need a big bonfire but we're not allowed fires on here so that's um, my cherry tree that I need to prune back. Needs a real good cut back this year. We get free bark and free soil conditioner up here, which is quite a bonus, really. Um, there's my compost bins. Everything, like I said, everything's just in a mess. This is uh, my decking area where I've just I ripped down my old greenhouse, and now I'm just putting up a new greenhouse which is 10 by 8 my boss was throwing out a brand new toilet so what I did is I uh, I planted some daffodils in it so yeah just everything's in a mess and the shed that I'm recladding really and lots of stuff to do all my painting area and all that sort of thing um, I've also one of my mates Alan that's on this allotment as well he's taken over this one um, he's given me these four bays here so I've got this one here which has got half a bed of comfrey and then nothing at the end so I shall I don't know I'll put something in there I've got all in there I've got raw beans all netted over but they've all drooped over because of the weather but they should should perk back up don't think I'll get a good yield out of them but they should perk back up <coughs> this is uh, my other bed that I've covered over well not covered over but I've put loads of uh, leaf mould on it rotted compost topsoil um, this is where my giant pumpkins go in next year because I did have it in that bed there um, and managed to get it to 36 kilo and I've got that one there so I don't know what I'm going to do with that one there yet I'm not quite sure so it's just a quick little video just to show you around my plot um, so I also have a thousand litre IBC tank with three water butts 
that are connecting to each other so I've got plenty of water up here and on our allotments we all we're sharing but we've got we've all got our own tanks like that tank there all frozen up but that's our water tank because we've got constant running water apart from in the winter where they turn it off <coughs> just want to quickly run, run you through my trees this is um, my apple tree I get a massive massive yield out of our loads of apples loads and loads of them and then that's my that's my pear tree it's not a big one but I uh, put some pears in the competition last year or this year should I say and um, and I'll come first with them now this tree I haven't got a clue I've not had any fruit out of it so I'm just going to really cut it right back this year and see what happens from there as you can see it's a nice frosty morning so I'm going to have a quick cup of coffee and then I'm going to crack on and then I should do a little video for you later See you later. Right, just had a quick coffee and just done uh, some painting. These are my base rail for the polytunnel. First coat done. I should probably give them two or three coats, just because they're they're not treated, so so they're going to need a couple of coats. Even though they're not going to be exposed to the weather, still want it to look pretty nice. This is my other base rail. Uh, pretty frozen at the moment um, I made up my own nail plates just because the other ones are you know they're not expensive but they're not cheap but obviously these have cost me nothing so and my bits of wood are only sort of one meter length so you have got that's a join to sort of like the other one which isn't very long see there's the next one so you know like I said everything's done on the cheap but so hopefully my mate Alan comes up today and uh, he can give me a help putting this on got to cut it down and paint the edge of it but that'd be about it so hopefully I can get that on today um, hopefully I can get these second coated um, and hopefully get them nailed together I don't know if I'll get them on today because I'm only here till f half four so but I am running out of paint so I might have to nip up town and uh, go and grab some more Ooh, I think it might be coffee time. Obviously this grapevine has got to be all cut back. It's just massive. It's even gone up into the tree, look. But yeah, I mean it starts off there. And I want it to run all the way down the side of this, but I'm only going to, I'm going to cut it down to four vines. The first year I had it, I had loads of fruit, but it didn't get to any size. Um, so this this year I didn't get anything so I'm going to cut it right back and then only have four vines on it I think and then that should do but I just left me Brussels and me some broccoli that the birds have had um, I've got my leeks growing seen quite a few people, some of them grow them in tubes, some of them grow them out of tubes so I thought I'd try both um, at the moment the better ones are the ones out of tubes than the ones in tubes I'm going to just take you for a little tour this is the other door uh, sun's coming up lovely 
This is where I had my um, butternut squashes. I had a few, but not many. Um, I grew some jack-o'-lantern pumpkins in this last year. I had loads, absolutely loads. But this is just filled up with leaf mould, horse manure, um, and then just some normal potting compost. Just shoved it all in there, and then they, they grew really well. Um, this allotment here um, belongs to obviously my neighbour now, but he couldn't work it last year, so he said that I could work it for him. Um, so I renovated it all over, and then I thought, what am I, you know, what am I going to plant in there? So I just planted loads of pumpkins, some Big Macs, some Russian pumpkins. Um, I think they got to about 10 kilo but that was about it, they didn't really get really big, I didn't really pay much attention to them, I just put them in there, watered them a few times and let them grow. But, so, so yeah, I mean these are the other ones, these are my other, other leeks, I mean as you can see, they're, they're pretty big, but they're not huge. So, we shall see. I grew some parsnips in here that I've dug up for Christmas dinner. Um, they went all the way down the bottom. Um, I'll show you another way later when I plant my next ones on how I do it. Um, which is probably an easier sort of way than to just uh, chuck them in the ground and, you know, hope that they don't hit a stone or anything. You can grow them in pots, I suppose, but I choose not to. Okay, thanks for watching. I'll see you later. Just a little quick update. I've got the base rail on. And I have put some sort of draft sort of excluder, door stopper if you like, uh, just around the edge. Looking kind of nice at the moment. Quite happy with it to be honest. Looks good. I did some more painting. I've got to, just got to nail the next base rail together, which is here. Should be all dried now. Looking all nice and dark. Some other trims have got to go around the edge. There you go, just a little quick thing. Sun's going down, so I should be. Uh, going home very shortly. See you later.